Hello guys, this is the continuation video. Uh, I'm trying to make spinal bracket to my CNC. You have the 3D printer, printer part that I will use on the mold. And this video will be about preparation of the plaster mold uh, and the aluminum casting. The first step was to create a box to, to cast the, the plaster mold. This is, will be a rectangular box that uh, will be able to, um, to put the 3D printer printed part inside of it and after that I will proceed the plaster casting. So here, uh, don't care about the, the measurement the, that the balance is doing right now because uh, I followed the, the first uh, the first plaster preparation so just look to, to the values that are on the screen okay it's very important to make a good preparation of the plaster because this is a very sensitive uh, point of, of the plaster mold uh, you should use cold water uh, i put it on the fridge before i before i use it uh, and you always should um, put the water first, the sand in second, and the plaster on third. You could mix the sand with the plaster and put it together, but it's a, an option. You could do it how you, how you want. When you are pouring the plaster, you should put it slowly to don't get uh, too much aggregate, so you should be very careful about it. This is also an important part of the step. After you pour all the, the plaster, just let it sit by 2-3 minutes before start to mixing uh, to it absorb some water. During the mixing, you should care about uh, not putting too much speed to avoid air bubble entrainment. You don't want that in your casting. So just be careful on this, on this step. When you are pouring the, the plaster, you also you should try to avoid bubble creation. Um, and you, this, I would say, is the optimal point you could see the consistency of the plaster is perfect because it uh, is very fluid but you will see it will dry in, uh, in like one minute it will 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 hold the form if you want to do something like, something like this you should think about to fix the the pellier part because the buoyancy is very high and the, it tends to, to go up. I just opened some holes to allow the, during the drying of the mold the water to, to come uh, from, from the center of the mold because sometimes these, these molds they are very thick and uh, since you, we are not controlling the temperature so, so well during the drying um, it's better to have some points where you can release the pressure. This will help you to, um, to avoid cracks on the mold. The plaster is looking very good, it is very solid. Now I'm putting the, now I'm putting the plaster mold on the dryer oven. Uh, this is manually controlled, so I will try to do some ramps, some temperature ramps. Um, I have Arduino to check the temperature, and the, the first ramp is to dry the, the water from the plaster, the second is to remove the residual water, and the third one is to burn the PLA. You could see here I have an Arduino just checking the, the temperature, but I was controlling it manually. At the end, the plaster don't have too much cracks, but uh, you could see some cracks on the surface, so you should uh, 
I, I was very careful moving it to don't crack the mold, but this is plainly so solid. I, I think this was a succeeded PLA burning. Now I'm just adjusting the mold uh, aluminum entrance to make sure that there are no plaster parts that will drop inside of the, the mold. I'm re removing the residues with the compressor there. And now I will add some tape to increase the pressure in the mold and to help to, to conduct the aluminum to inside the mold. This is an option, but uh, I recommend everyone to, to do this, to increase, because if you increase the pressure, uh, you will have a, a better part. After that, I started the, the burner to, to melt the aluminium, um, and I started to, and I just added some aluminium to, to the cup. Um, just be careful. I always use more aluminium than uh, what you think you will really cast. You never know what will happen. I let it burn to, to melt the, the aluminium and I went to prepare the, the casting. So I put the mold on the ground and I just add some, some restrictions around it to put some sand and uh, some rocks around it just to hold the mold in case of during the aluminium casting something happened it's always better to have the mechanical restriction so you should, you should do that it will for sure be safer and, uh, and uh, will help in case of aluminium spilling. Over the slab from the top of the aluminium and now I will proceed the casting. Just, uh, just be careful, you should use the protection on your eyes and gloves. And you should put the, put the aluminium just for one time. Don't stop and start, stop and start, no, just one time, pull, and we, we are all done. I put the rest of the aluminum in some metallic part that I have to cover the aluminum, make the earth. And it's done. It looks very good, so let's see how it, how it went. This is always the, the part that we get very stressed about because we never know what we'll find out inside of the mold. But uh, fortunately, this time it was very good. So I was very impressed with the, the quality of the casting. Let's remove the rest of the plaster. But I would say this was a very very succinct casting. You could see there are the detail is very good. Uh, it's almost the same as the 3D printer and we don't see too much failures on the on the on the parts. I would say this was a successful casting. 
I just wired the, the aluminium part to remove it from the runner. On the, the, the part that I cut her, there are no bubbles inside of the, the casting, so I would say the mechanical resistance will be good. The parts they look very good, uh, they are very smooth and um, you could see the details of the 3D printing. There are some parts that uh, probably failed, for example here we have uh, probably a mold broke or something like that inside. You could see here on the runner there are some slides on the back side and this was maybe for purpose for to, to retain the slide. This is very important to, to your casting. You don't want the slide on the part. Thank you for watching guys and subscribe.